Hey, what's up, everyone? That's all. back here again with another uh, another quick gripes video. Uh, today, or this episode, we're gonna be going over what's wrong with Mattel and their DC figures. Um, now, right here, I have a Batman DC Multiverse figure from Dark Knight Returns, uh, like Wave they launched, and uh, over here. Over here, I have some other, I have some DC Universe figures. Um, so first, let me talk about DC Universe. So let me get these out the way. So that means you get the Nightwing. Oh my god, I have poor posing abilities. Um. So, when I got these, I got these around 2008 through 10, um, maybe even 2011, I can't remember, around that, that, that three year time, uh, time span, and um, whenever these figures came out, like, whenever these figures first came out, not these right here, but you know, the DC Universe, they were like good because they were competing with Marvel Legends. They're close to the same. You know, though, in my opinion, they're, they're no, nowhere near Marvel Legends. Nowhere near them. Just, Marvel Legends had better sculpt, better paint, everything was better. Um, these were okay. These aren't bad, but they're okay. And if you look at today's stuff, they are not good. They're not good, they're okay. And I feel like they've always been okay. Except when they first came out. When they first came out, they were good at the time. Over time, though, um, they're just okay. So, um, back to the DC Multiverse figure. My biggest complaint with these is the paint. They have horrible paint. So, just look at the Superman. If I can focus... Focus. There we go. Um, sorry about that. Superman. I understand that Superman's uh, iconic costume is just very simple, very plain. But if you look on the figure, there's no paint. Like, like there's just normal colors. They, they didn't put any other paint. I'm like this Batman, which. I'm very glad it's like the best figure from the DC uh, Multiverse uh, line, besides the Dark Knight Return Joker, because you can see right here on the abs, you can see some um, paint, some uh, black wash, some shadowing, and then you can really see it right there. Uh, you can see it on the leg a little bit, sort of, like up here. And you can see it in the torso. I think they did a good job with this figure. It's not a great figure, but it's a good one. Now, all the other DC Universe figures, not DC, the Multiverse, they're nowhere near as good as this one. The other ones are garbage, besides the Joker from Dark Knight Returns. Like the Jared Leto Jer Joker, horrible. It doesn't even, most of the figures don't even look like the actors. Like Marvel. Like, sorry about that. Like Marvel, you can see they got better. They got better. Like you can see right here, the Star Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy One. You can see that doesn't look like Chris Pratt at the time. It was acceptable because the rest of the figure was just so good. He still is a good figure. And then this year. They came out with this one. That one has a like it has a decent likeness. I won't say it looks exactly like him, but it, you can tell that's Chris Pratt from first glance. Um, same thing with the Bucky figure, Walmart exclusive Bucky figure. Same thing with that. That likeness is spot on, in my opinion. Just I think those Walmart figures need a lot more paint, like any figure. Just a little more detail in paint. Um, 
let's get back to these on here. The Harley Quinn, like the Suicide Squad uh, wave, for example, that one's horrible. That's a horrible wave. There's paint, sculpt, everything's bad. Dark Knight Returns was probably the best wave. Um, the one figure which I really wish had a lot more paint was the uh, armored version. Now I know it's like mass distribution, but a little bit more like that's fan appreciation. Just give them some more stuff to talk about and enjoy. Um, but you know that uh, armored figure is not bad. Like just. Then he DC Universe Multiverse figure needs more help. Now let's hop back to the universe. Now these are older. Um, as you can see, just like the Superman Batman shows no paint detailing whatsoever. You look around. This is just solid paint, just solid piece of plastic. Now I don't know if you can see it, but this, the torso piece, is a different color than the arm. And that is mostly because, I think just because the um, plastic's getting older, or it's been used. Um, sorry about that, so right there. Just checking something. And this Nightwing, I, I don't know why I got this Nightwing. I guess because it was Nightwing. And this is a really weird Nightwing, this must be like, like one of those, um, well I got this in a single pack. So just this figure. But I don't know why he's painted like this. I never seen him like this. To repaint, and then if you look up here, sorry. If you look right there, you can see the outline of a mask, and then that's the forehead up there. So I mean, this was like intentionally repainted like that. It looks really stupid. But once again, on the Nightwing. This stupid camera can focus. You see no paint detailing at all. On the actual suits and stuff, you see no paint de detailing. On the hair, you will see a little bit of blue. Which, I will give them full credit. Or maybe, I don't know if that was just... I don't know if that was intentionally put there or I just like wore the figure out so bad you can see the blue and the black paint I don't know but Mattel seems to be moving backwards with their figure production in my opinion I think everyone knows it just one like they're gonna realize one day sailors are gonna drop completely but uh yeah that's my two cents on the whole Mattel uh, DC Universe multiverse figure situation so uh so thanks for watching uh, like comment and subscribe for more peace out